Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel, A Thousand Fold Gift Studio. I am Caitlin, and today I'm going to show you how to do four macrame knots for beginners. So we're going to use a wooden rod. This one actually I bought from Buddings, and some cord and rope. That's it. Um, but today I'm going to use a 5 mm cotton cord in golden natural color. So let's start. Our first and one of the most important macrame knot is the lark's head knot. To start, you need to take one end of your cord, go down, and take the other end of the cord, fold the cord in half by holding the two ends together, then grab the loop formed on the other end. Now bring the loop at the back of your wooden rod and fold it over. Now you're going to take your working cord or rope and insert it inside the loop and pull it through. Continue pulling it to the top to complete your first Lark's head knot. Now let's start working on your second Lark's head knot. Just follow the steps on the video. Get more cords and continue practicing the lark's head knot as we are going to use them in the next knots that we're going to work together. Our next knot is one of the most common macrame knots, the square knot. For square knots, you will need four working cords. So to begin, you're going to grab your left cord and make a little loop with it as if you're forming the number 4 using your cord. Now take the right cord and place it on top of your left cord. Push the right cord behind and through the loop you made using your left cord. Then pull it up to the top by pulling both sides of the cord. Now you're going to do the exact same thing on your right cord. Grab your right cord and make a little loop with it as if you're forming a mirror image of the number 4. Now take the left cord and place it on top of your right cord. Push the left cord behind then underneath and through the loop you made using your right cord. Then pull it up to the top by pulling both sides of the cord. As you can see, we've completed our first square knot. So now we're going to make our second square knot. And now we've done two square knots. I'm going to make a few more, so just follow the steps in the video until you get used to making square knots on your own. Now we've completed 5 square knots for today. I hope you were able to follow. 
The third knot is one of my favorite knots when working on our macrame plant hangers, the spiral knot. So we will still need four cords for this type of knot. To start, grab your right cord and make a little loop with it as if you're forming a mirror image of the number four. Now take the left cord and place it on top of your right cord. Push the left cord behind, then underneath, and through the loop you made. Then pull it up to the top by pulling both sides of the cord. Now, you just need to repeat the same steps using your right cord every time. If you started your knot using the left cord, then you must continue doing it on the same side which is the left. It's actually like doing a half of a square knot. For now, just continue following my lead until you get used to doing a spiral knot. Now you can see that our cord is starting to spin and form a beautiful spiral. The last knot is the double half hitch knot. It's a bit more difficult than the first three, but practice makes perfect. So we're going to start the knot with the rightmost cord, so this will be the cord that all the other ropes will attach to. Let's call it our main cord for easy reference. To start with, you need to take the cord beside your main cord. Create a small loop by holding the two cords together like this. Then fold the working cord over and go through that small loop. Now pull that to the top. This is what you call your half hitch. So the next step is to pull up the working cord again beside your main cord creating a small loop. Now you're going to take your working cord, fold it over, and pull the cord through the loop, then pull it to the top. So you can see our double hitch knot has two loops on both sides, and the working cord is in the middle of those loops. This means you've done your double hitch knot correctly. Now let's do our second double hitch knot by repeating the same process as the first. Make sure to follow the steps in the video. So you can see we've done two double hitch knots each with two loops on both sides and the working cord in the middle. Now I'm going to work on a few more knots so you can follow my lead and practice.
And here it is, we've created a row of double hitch knots. So those are four basic macrame knots perfect for beginners. This is just the first video in our macrame tutorial series. So I hope I see you on the next one. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed our video, please hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more DIY, crafts, home, and lifestyle content.